Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eon's Battle, and today I'm going to show you how I made a jungle base with ferns and leaves. And here are the paints I'll be using in this video. So the first thing I did is I prepared myself some leaves. I used some twist ties from my local grocery store, and I used a pair of nail clippers to shape them. Now you can just use a pair of scissors or a hobby knife. I like to use the nail clippers because they already have a rounded shape to their blade, and so it really helps to speed up the process of shaping these leaves. So once I tapered the end of each of my leaves, I cut them to about an inch each to give myself some room to play with them, and then I used a pair of sprue cutters to carve a little T-shaped tang that's going to help them stick into the base. Then I went back in with the nail clippers and I finished off shaping these leaves. For the leaves that I wanted to turn into ferns, I simply took a finished leaf and then I used my clippers to carve a bunch of little grooves into the leaf. Then I took a hobby drill and I started cutting some holes into the base that I'm going to be putting on, putting my plants into. I then took each leaf and I put it, put their tang through the bottom of the base, clipping them so they didn't stick out past the bottom of the base, and then I put as many as I could into each hole. I made sure to put the solid leaves together and then my fern leaves together. Then I used a little bit of super fine super glue to hold them in place. And then I used a pair of tweezers to shape them. On this, uh, on this plant, I just kind of bent the leaves down, but on my ferns, I twisted each fern leaf into a bit of a spiral. And this helps differentiate the two types of plants, and it helps sell the look of the ferns. Once I had my plants how I wanted them, I then began flocking the base. First I put down a little white glue, or PVA glue, and then I sprinkled on some heavy grit flocking. And then, to finish it off, I covered it in some a mixture of medium and fine grit flocking. Once that was dry, I began painting it. I saved myself a little time in painting because my leaves are already green, uh, but you may have to base coat those in green if your twist ties aren't green. And then I base coated the whole base in some Citadel Rhinox hide. Once that was dry, I then dry brushed the whole base, including the leaves with a little bit of dark sand to give the ground a little bit of texture and to help give the leaves some definition. Once that was done, to help this make look like a jungle base, I then flocked it with a little bit of my loose leaves. Linked in the description below will be the video where I showed how I made these leaves. But basically, they're just dried leaves. Once that was dry, I then washed the leaves with some Aragrax Earthshade to help them give them a little bit more definition and to help tie all the colors of the base together because I didn't want anything on the base to stand out too much. You always should want the miniature to stand out more than any aspect of the base, unless it's like a diorama base. Then I went with a little Beal Tan Green and I washed my leaves to make them look a little bit more like fresh jungle leaves as well as the dried fall leaves. Then I painted the trim of the base with a little bit of Vallejo Goblin Green. And then to, I found that I wanted to knock down the color of the leaves a little bit more, and so I went back over them with a little bit of Beal Tan Green. And there's the finished base. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you can leave a comment if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can follow us at Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us at Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching. Thank you.